Lacquer, after five seasons, 206 appearances, 71 goals. You're calling time on your Arsenal career. Can you tell us about the decision you've made? How with the club we decide to go apart and the club taking a, a new direction at the end of my contract as well. So now it's time for me to, to have a new experience, new adventure. And a lot has happened during your time at the club. Three different managers, cup finals, plenty of goals. What have been your own highlights? It's complicated to, to choose one highlights for when you when you live five years uh, in a club with a lot of teammates, a lot of managers, so many um, good and bad moments. But I want to keep all the good moments I had in a club uh, because for me uh, it was just a pleasure to to play in a, in, a, in a club that since I'm young I dream. So um, I'm really happy uh, to have played for five years for Arsenal. And you were voted Arsenal Player of the Season in 2019. What did that mean to you? What does it still mean to you? Uh, really happy, really honoured because I'm proud. Because on my first season, I remember um, after my, we have um, like a board in a family room and there was all the players and the name. And I said to my, to my dad and brothers one day, I will be here. So I'm really proud that I make it. And uh, yeah, so, so proud. Yeah, because the list of names on there, obviously Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, play, great players like that down there. There is years. only big name on it, so that's why to, to see my name there is really nice. And as you said, lots of highlights, but you especially loved playing the North London derby. You scored four goals against Tottenham. They must be special memories too. Yeah, this game is really special. Uh, I know in France we had the same kind of game, but as, as soon as I arrived in London, Paul walked with the players, I think was the second thing he told me after, hello, how are you? <laughs> he said to me, we are Tottenham, we have to beat them every game. So I understood that this game was really, really important for the, for the club and for the fans. And yeah, when you, you play one game, you, you understand really what it means for everyone. And when you think of atmospheres at the Emirates, is it those games that stand out? What, what would be the most special atmospheres you played in here? Uh, yeah, the 4 2 against Tottenham. We were losing and we come back and we, win, we won at the end and, uh, and I scored as well, so everything was perfect that day. And trophies as well, obviously won the FA Cup in 2020, you played from the start at Wembley. No fans in the stadium but still a special moment, tell us about that day. Yeah, it's a bit sad because it was during uh, the Covid pandemic. We won but we could not celebrate with the fans in the stadium, so this is a bit uh, the dark point. But at least we bring one more line to the club. I uh, was really happy to, to play this game. It was not, was not easy, but we did a good game, we won. How important was it for you to have that trophy for your, to show for your time at Arsenal? Um, really important because I came to, wanted to win many trophies, obviously, like every player who signed for Arsenal. And uh, at least I know I had the FA Cup, one of the more prestigious cup in, in, uh, in, in England. So. I'm happy to, to have one with us now. And this season, you were captain in the team for a lot of it for the second half of the season. Tell us what that was like for you, what an honour it was for you. Yeah, it's a big pleasure. You can ask every player who, who had the handband, it's always something different for, for the player and to represent the, the team. Uh, it was for six months, but I enjoyed to be the, to be the captain number one and to have this uh, responsibility around the teammates. I enjoy as well the way we, we, they were acting with me and all the this res responsibility. So it was a good moment. Because when you look back to when you joined and then to, to your final season, you grew a lot and you grew as a more experienced player and I guess more at home at Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, I really felt at home. Um, the training ground, the stadium, everything. I used to call this my, my garden. So was uh, was true for me and yeah when I came to Arsenal I was a bit like a kid with big name big players a lot of pressure I was not talking so much and uh, years after years I started to talk more and more my English became better my relationship with uh, people at the club as well stronger and the players as well so I'm happy for for who, for who I am now from where I came from and this is nice 
and for all the goals you scored, the special moments, but also the, the commitment and the way you were always with the crowd here at home and in the away games as well. Yeah, because the fans are amazing in the stadium. I think you need to, to come to the stadium to understand how it's special to play in Emirates. Um, so I just wanted to, to help the, the players of the game because the fans are so important. They like the, the 12 men on the pitch. So we need them, they need the players. And when everybody is uh, together, Arsenal is really, is really good. And do you have a, a message for the fans now that you're leaving, something you'd like to say about your, your five years here? I want to say thank you, a big thank you, because there was a lot of expectation for me when I signed. The, the welcome was amazing for me and I feel straight, comfortable to play for the, for the team. And during my five years, it's been amazing with, the, with the, the fun in the stadium. Thank you for the song as well. Uh, I never talk about it, but really it really touched me a lot. And um, yeah, a big thank you for everything. And finally, whatever you do in future, will Arsenal always have a, a place in your heart? Will you be following the team? Yeah, of course. Uh, we'll keep contact with my teammates, with the managers, um, the club. I support Arsenal since I'm young, so obviously I'm going to keep supporting them. Um, I know I will come back to the stadium as well. Um, so, yeah, like we say, once a gunner, always a gunner. <laughs>